talking to Dr. Stephanie Bailey, the director of the Metropolitan Public Health Department. And Dr. Bailey, before we had our commercial break, we were talking about some of the issues uh, dealing with uh, public health in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and indeed comparing those uh, issues with uh, other cities. Let's give you an opportunity to uh, identify some of the uh, problems or some of the successes uh, that you've had and again to talk about the role of uh, the Metropolitan Public Health Department in uh, the uh, state of Tennessee and perhaps especially with uh, 10 care and some of those other issues let's let's do it from that okay. perspective today um, let me start with then how um, 10 care has sort of affected uh, public health at least the way we were delivering it here in Davidson County and I think the way managed care will affect public health departments mm -hmm. across the nation uh, it's 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 okay with mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and I say okay because uh, primary care uh, was a mean for, means for public health to get mm -hmm. persons into the clinic in order to attend to those prevention preventive issues mm -hmm. uh, people will come into a health care setting for a headache or a stomach ache or they have um, an earache or the mm -hmm. child has a fever they don't always come in to say you need your uh, uh, pre-cancer exam or mm -hmm. you need to uh, let us check your cholesterol or you need because you're feeling good you don't mm -hmm. want to come in mm -hmm. so we always use primary care was a means for getting people into in. the clinic once we mm -hmm. get them in for mm -hmm. their cold or their whatever mm -hmm. then we could say have you had your flu shot mm -hmm. or have you had your pneumococcal vaccination mm -hmm. or have when's the last time you had your breast exam or your pap smear mm -hmm. or are you are you sexually active and do you need family planning mm -hmm. education you know so those those are the tools of public health. Mm -hmm. uh, prevention is at the heart of public health, and health promotion and health protection mm -hmm. are the two tenets of public health. So primary care got, us, got you in in mm -hmm. order for us to do our prevention and mm -hmm. education messages. With ten care and managed care, we have the opportunity to mm -hmm. go back to those basic public health functions, mm -hmm. which are defined as assessment, mm -hmm. meaning that we ask the questions, what are the health problems in Davidson County? Mm -hmm. What are killing people? Mm -hmm. What's making them sick? Mm -hmm. Where are the high-risk populations? Is, is the risk uh, geographically distributed mm -hmm. across the county? Do we have to do something better? Where are the gaps in services? Who's mm -hmm. delivering the services? Mm -hmm. How well are you delivering mm -hmm. services? So that's our assessment piece. That's what mm -hmm. public health is all about. Mm -hmm. The other piece of public health is assurance so that those those populations that are difficult to reach mm -hmm. not likely to network the system or likely to fall out of the system mm -hmm. uh, whether it's from um, a language barrier mm -hmm. IV drug usage or just not able to read or get mm -hmm. the information it's is, is the job of public health as their insurance function to make sure those persons get into care and get the quality of care they're supposed to get. You may be signed up to this MCO or this 10 care mm -hmm. provider. It's not, right now it's mm -hmm. not to his advantage to go find everybody that's signed up to him mm -hmm. in order to get them into service. Because on a capitated fee basis, uh, that money I don't have to spend. Mm -hmm. But we can push the system to make sure those people get in and the policies are adjusted so that everyone has access mm -hmm. uh, and some quality of care. So, Kip, so would it be safe to say that overall, uh, 10 care has been a positive development in terms of helping to reach more uh, persons from a preventive standpoint? Would that be proper? Uh, It's been more positive in that it allows more people to have access to care. Mm -hmm. It's not universal policy. Mm -hmm. Everyone does not, have, does not have a card in their hand, mm -hmm. but it allows more persons to access health care services mm -hmm. that didn't have that opportunity mm -hmm. before. Even those without a card. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Very good. It extends beyond the, your, your traditional Medicaid population mm -hmm. to those persons who were considered uninsurable mm -hmm. and uninsured. So that's one of the greatest benefits of the 10-care system. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, Dr. Bailey, I think that uh, 
quite recently.